Hi there, and welcome back. Um, just a little bit of backstory on how we got to where we are now. We had lived in Belito for 25 years or so, and decided that this was what we wanted to do. After many years of planning, we put the house on the market. It was about early 2017, and we decided we weren't going to look for a boat until we had sold the house. We didn't want to get our hearts set on any boats and then without having the house sold, be disappointed. So the house went on the market and it took us about 18 months to sell. We eventually sold in about June of, I think we did the paperwork in May of 2018 and July we left. In that time we packed up our entire lives. We sold, we were so convinced we would be buying a boat overseas that we pretty much got rid of everything we owned. We sold, gave away and donated literally everything except our sentimental things. When we left Belito, we left with our family car and a small trailer. From there we, we went to Jeffreys Bay. We have some amazing friends who knew what we were doing and were so incredibly supportive and said, well you're going to have this time in between leaving your home and buying a boat come and stay with us. So we had great friends in Jeffreys Bay and in Worcester. So for the next year or so we spent most of our time in Jeffreys Bay. I love being by the ocean. Um, and we spent a bit of time in Worcester which is inland from Cape Town. All this time we were searching for boats and making offers on a couple through the world. Uh, Puerto Rico, Florida, Zanzibar, to name just but a few. As we said before, they all fell through um, until one, this one, Susha, came up in Langabon. Where it's just you and me Feels like we're in a dream You know what I mean This is the day we arrived at the boat after taking official ownership. As you'll see from the video, we have taken on a huge project way more work than we'd ever thought we would take on. But here it goes. We're very excited. Feels like we're in a dream, you know what I mean. I'm leaving home for the coastline, someplace under the sun. I feel my heart for the first time. Cause now I'm moving on yeah. the front of the boat. So the windows are gonna be the first thing that we do. Change all that to glass. Those dirty grey things there are the hatches where the anchor chain will go around that thing and drop down into there. Um, and they're also storage boxes. So this here is obviously all trampoline so we need to get those ordered so we can get them in and make it a little bit more safe to walk around up here. And the roof. These are the hatches here for the cabins downstairs. I think no one on that side. And going on here. So that's the bimini there. And we still gotta get that all finished off so we're gonna try and get that into Cape Town more than likely to get that finished off. Because we'd like to get that on as soon as possible because it's gonna protect this whole area. So there's a seat like Cheryl and Eddie had. Another seat over there. These are all hatches. Legs for the table. It seems like the it's gonna focus now on that 
far side thingy. The flooring, the paint on the floor seems to be peeling off, so we might have quite a big job of redoing that. It's all the non-slip stuff that stops you from slipping and sliding on the fiberglass. So we're going to have to do that. Also, but we're going to be doing these things anyway, so we can do that all at the same time. So you've got a seat there, obviously the helm seat there. And at the back, this whole thing is a long seat there that you put cushions on. And you put some sort of backing onto that hole at the back there. And then over here, another seat, L shaped seat with your table. This shelf back like a bit to make that shelf there bigger and put I a single mean. bowl in here. So when you're standing in the kitchen, sink is there, stove is there, tabletop, tabletop, and then your big this would be so much better used as full tabletop. And you've got so much of storage in there. So if all your plumbing pipes are through there, this leaves nice huge area for I said Robin if we put in like three pot drawers up there um, it would make for easy storage of plates and pots and pans and things like that okay and then you've got the windows that's what we're gonna be at the moment that's all covered in plastic um, oh, and then on this side you've got the big fridge and a tabletop that will all be closed off. That's the back of all the instruments and the steering and everything. And then going down here. So this will be staircase. Let me get down here without breaking my neck. Okay, so there's one cabin. This is below where I showed you the like the hatch. There's the hatch up there that I showed you from upstairs. So there's the bed. And you're gonna have cupboards here. This is pretty much the only floor space you have to stand in before you get into your bed. There'll be more covers over there. And the passage and then the back cabin. So more covers there. Partly put in. This is where he said that he would have like coffee machines and stuff. Um, so I'm not quite sure what we'll put in there. And then this cabin here, you've got your engine. So all those boards fit down over that and become your bed. You would have more cupboards in there. Some cupboards in there, sort of under construction at the moment. And that is just a step. Remember your floor raises up to here. So this becomes a solid floor to where the bottom of that masking tape is on the round thing. So you've got a flat floor there that looks like this. And you step up onto that and into your bed. And then Here's a little bathroom, so that's where the toilet will stand on that platform there. The shower will be in here, so it's fairly big. Not bad. I don't know how we're going to waterproof it yet, and every time I ask him about it, he distract, gets distracted. And then somewhere along there, we've got to fit a basin. I think he's got a cupboard system planned for there, but we'll have to ask him about that. This is all the in the tricks that Robin was talking about, there's the big cables. That's pipes going to. I don't know, maybe. Inside the cupboard, that's where you've got one big battery, 250 amp hour battery, apparently. And then this is just storage, apparently with a drawer and a cupboard or something like that. There's also going to be, this is all going to be closed off there with little hatches of cubbies or something in. 
I think so there shouldn't be a shortage of storage um, and across here so lots of cleaning up to do engine same story cupboards um, again uh, there's your little window for watching the sea as it's rushing by uh, the steering all comes down that white board there with that thing on has got something to do with the steering all the steering goes through that box at the back there and again you've got the floors same bathroom shower all these are going to have the same floors put in there as well so that becomes what they call a bulge so any water running runs inside that and all the plumbing goes through plumbing pipes running everywhere this is more of the same cupboards in the passage cupboards up there cupboards down there so my initial thought here was that this passage was very narrow but it's actually not too, like, like, it's quite comfortable and then we've got again the back bedroom you see the amount of stuff we've got to sort before we can even start working but our priority is going to be to get the windows in um, and then we know that it's all watertight to a sunny place where it's just you and me feels like we're in a dream you know what I Summer air by the seaside The way it fills our lungs The fire burns in the night sky This life will keep us young, yeah, keep us young Thank you for watching with us. We hope to see you next time. And please, if you enjoyed our video, click subscribe and press the notification button so you know when the next videos are being released. See you next time.